Hi guys, thanks for being with me here on this video. So today I'm in my kitchen again and I am making my lunch and I'm going to show you what it is that I'm making and how I make it. So um, this dish has got lots of different names. It's um, a well-known dish throughout the Caribbean but I know it's also really popular in Southern America um, and in South America as well so um, it's, it's called lots of different names but I know this as bully beef <laughs> so um, I'm going to show you how to make it and um, all the ingredients so this is a very vegetable based dish so I'm going to show you um, all the ingredients and also how I make it so um, we're going to start off with the main base of the dish which is a cabbage so this is a just a regular standard white cabbage and what I've done is I have taken off the bottom of it literally just sliced it off because you don't want that in your dish and then I've taken off a few of the outer leaves because again you don't want that in your dish so it's just really easy just to peel back and to strip those outer leaves off and that's going to leave the dish the cabbage nice and clean so I'm going to show you how I slice that up in a moment um, I've got an onion just a regular onion that I've chopped up we're going to add to it some carrots, again fresh um, carrots that I've just washed and peeled. I've got a scotch bonnet pepper which I've got here that I've um, chopped up just very very finely. Um, I want some heat in this dish so I've left the seeds in and I've also got some scallion um, and I've just again roughly chopped it. Now I'll and the core of the dish is some corned beef um, so this is a tin of corned beef you can, you can use um, like pre-sliced corned beef if you wish but I like it straight out of the tin so um, let's get going oh we're also going to add lots of spices which I'm going to show you as we're cooking along so, so we're going to get the onions on and pop the carrots in and then I'm going to show you how I just cut up my cabbage okay so um, let's get cooking so guys I've got my pan on heat and I'm just going to use a few pumps of my spray oil straight into my pan like so so we're just going to let that um, warm through in the pan and now I'm going to add my chopped onions. So I'm just going to leave that there to saute and to cook for a few minutes. So all together this dish is going to take about 10 minutes. So these are nicely browned, you don't want them too brown, the onions, you just want just to um, give them just a little bit of colour. And now I'm going to add my carrots. So this is going to be a really um, tasty and healthy dish, packed full with colour and flavour. So I'm going to turn the gas down low. And I'm going to, whilst that's cooking, I'm going to show you just how I cut up my cabbage. So come with me. Okay guys, so here's my cabbage. Um, topped and leaves are stripped back so what I'm going to do I'm just going to cut it straight down the centre like that okay 
and then now I'm going to take the heart out of the cabbage which is this um, fibrous bit in the middle because you don't really want that in so we're just going to give it a slice just down the side and then on the other side we're going to do the same and that should and just down the back and there we go it's come out so you don't really want this fibrous bit in your dish so all of that's out and I'm going to do the same on the other side so you leave in just a little bit so you're not cutting into the, the half you're just going to cut on the edge so you're just going to slice it like so and ideally you would try and get a triangle shape but this isn't triangular so I'm just following the edge of it to cut the heart out and there we go straight down the back be very careful for you using a sharp knife with this okay and there we go there's the heart out so now that those are out we can chuck those away so now we can start slicing up this cabbage so we want it um, nice and fine but um, we still want texture on it as well so um, you know cut it the way you wish there's you know I mean there's no right or wrong way of cutting this cabbage up but um, ideally what you want is nice fine chunks and the finer it is the easier it's going to be and the quicker it's going to be to cook so like so and we're going to do that with these outer leaves as well if you wish we're just going to slice through them okay guys so that's nicely chopped so we're just going to add that to the onions and the carrots so okay guys so the onions and carrots are cooking really lovely we've got a little bit of color on it which is just perfect and now we're going to add the cabbage so we're just gonna put that all in so you can wash your cabbage if you want I don't because once you've taken that off the outer leaves then you'll find that it tends to be really clean really tightly packed and, and that's another reason why I take off the outer leaves because that will be handled that will be dirty um, so you don't want to use those but the the inside of the cabbage will is usually nice and clean um, you can wash it but if you wash it you do leave the cabbage to drain thoroughly because what you don't want is a lot of water um, springing up in this dish you really don't want that it'll spoil it so I tend not to to wash it so it looks quite a lot now but it will cut down and it will lessen so whilst that's um, breaking down I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients so I'm just going to add my scotch bonnet and also my scallion so add all of that in and we're going to give that a really good stir to all that lovely colour coming through one of the best things about cooking is you can really add so much colour to your to your meals to your dishes um, and really make it bright and exciting um, so I love this that we've got the the mixture of colours coming through so that is starting to break down so now I'm going to add my spices so I'm going to add some sea salt so I'm going to start off with about half a teaspoon always better to add a little bit less because then you can add more if you wish what you don't want is to add too much and then it spoils the dish 
Next, I'm going to use some ground pimento, also known as allspice. So again, I'm going to use half a teaspoon and just sprinkle that all on. <coughs> Next, I'm going to use some black pepper. This is coarse black pepper. And I'm going to use about a quarter of a teaspoon. Okay. Next, I'm going to add some all-purpose seasoning. And I'm going to add about a good half a teaspoon. Sprinkle all that on. And I'm going to add a little bit of onion salt. So about half a teaspoon. Get that all in there. And I'm just going to add a little pinch of chilli powder because I do like my food spicy. So I'm just going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon and sprinkle that all over. And I'm going to give that all a really good stir. Oh, it's smelling so good. With Now that all those spices have gone in, it smells amazing. And that's the thing with cooking. It should be a sensation not just on your eyes but also in terms of the smell and the fragrance it looks so good and it smells amazing and it's really so healthy this dish is so if you are vegan or vegetarian you could actually just take this once it's cooked and eat it as it is maybe have it as a side dish um but you could potentially just eat it as it is um maybe pop some you know mixed beans with it um or even you know if you're not vegan or vegetarian maybe even you have this as a side dish with your chicken or your meat or your fish so this as it is is just beautiful it's a really good healthy option and as you see it's really really quick really really quick to cook so whilst i'm going to leave that on a low heat whilst we prepare the corned beef okay so let's go over and do that now okay guys so we're using this corned beef um as i say you can use um sliced corned beef or that's already prepped if you wish but I do like to use this tin. So with this, you usually get a little key at the top and it's usually you've got a, like a, a, a part that you've got to peel back here. So what I would say is be very, very, very careful um, opening these tins of corned beef. Um, yeah very very careful so we're just going to lift the key up and we just need to peel back the paper i'm not sure why they still make it like this but this is how it is so um we'd need to just get into the can um and we just lift up this there's a little flap here so we're just going to lift that up like so you can see that that is standing up and then we're going to pop the key in like so push it down and we're just going to roll it so twist it over and we're just going to roll it so go really gently and really carefully keep your hands away from the edges because they are sharp and the slower that you go the more control that you will have to turn this and open it well. I've had in the past where um, it's gone <clears throat> all skewy and it's become really difficult to open. So I've had to use a knife and all sorts of gadgets to, to get into my corned beef. So there we go. So I'm going to pop that aside take the bottom off and so be very careful because they are really really sharp and then you might may even need a knife to 
now get into it so just get your knife into the edges and just pull it back and your corn beef should slide out so as I say be really really careful when you're disposing because it's got lots of sharp edges so be very very careful so um, now we've got our corned beef and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it up ready to put into my dish so I, I like to slice it up everybody will do it slightly different some people will mash it into the, the dish into the pan but I like to just slice it so I get really good even pieces so I'm gonna just put it into chop it into small chunks and that's so okay guys so here we go it's all chopped up now this corned beef is already cooked um so it, the cooking time is going to be really quick because we're just going to warm it through because it's already done so now we're going to just add it to the cabbage so here we are guys so this cabbage is cooking down really really beautifully looks good smells amazing so give it all a good stir and now we're just going to add the corned beef so I'm just going to pop that all in like so now we're just going to work that in to the dish as the corned beef gets warm the colour will change and it will soften and mash down a little bit more so this dish will serve between three and four people and you can have it on its own as a independent separate dish or you might choose to you know pop it with something else maybe a little bit of rice or um or even maybe some mixed beans some lentils entirely up to you but this is good as it is to eat on its own so we're just sort of working that in nice and gently and at this point we're now going to taste the dish um, and it's really important to taste it because then you can then at this stage know whether you need to add any extra seasonings so let's just get my fork and have a little taste I'm gonna get some of the cabbage and some of the carrots as well there we go yeah guys that tastes really good I'm happy with that um, it tastes so nice. I've, I've got the flavour of the um, scotch bonnet coming through and also the chilli, just the way that I like it. If you're not big on pepper, then leave it out or maybe just put less in there. Um, so that's entirely up to you. But the idea is you want to get flavour in there. So if necessary, add a little bit more all purpose um, or a little bit more of the onion salt. If you haven't got any of those ingredients, then just use whatever savoury ingredients you have. Um, if you've got a bit of curry powder or a bit of paprika, that's absolutely good with this. Um, this dish is all about flavour um so yeah add whatever spices you have available so that is looking absolutely scrumptious absolutely delicious and i can't wait to tuck into this it's just looking so good so i'm just gonna leave it now for 
another minute or two just to warm through properly so can you see what I mean that the um, corned beef has really broken down um, so you're going to have these nice right throughout the dish um, this lovely fusion of the corned beef and the cabbage and the um, carrots so I'm going to leave that for a minute to let that all cook down and then we'll have a little look to see how to serve it up okay guys so now I'm going to show you how to make the um, planting it's really easy so I've just got a fresh plant in here and I'm going to score it in fact I'm going to just take the top off that like so and now I'm just going to score it right down one of the side edges like so and I'm just going to peel it back so it comes away really easy because it's ripe and there we go that's our planting if you've not seen my video um, explaining what a planting is where it comes from um, and the difference between the planting and the banana I will link a video in the description box for you if you want to check it out okay so what we're going to do we're just going to cut it very simply into slices and we're just going to cut on the diagonal you could cut it straight across if you want um, I, personally I just think it looks a little bit nicer when it's cut on the diagonal and we want to cut quite thin strips as you can see that's quite thin so just a couple of centimeters that way um, one you're going to get a lot more two they're going to cook really quickly um, and three you can really savor these plantains now with um, plantains in the other videos that I've made I did make them sweet so I put um, brown sugar on them but these ones we're not going to do that we're going to make them um we're just going to cook them as they are for no other reason than it's just a change um so really really simple we're just going to continue slicing all of these uh finish off slicing the plant in so guys at this point let me just say if you've not subscribe to my channel please do so hit that red subscribe button below and also click the notification bell that way you will be notified as and when i upload more videos in the future so we've got all our planting nicely sliced so what we're going to do now and um, you can cook these in the oven but today I'm going to cook them in the air fryer. So what I'm going to do is to keep it really low in points, I'm going to use the air, the spray oil. This is a sunflower spray oil. And I'm just going to spray some in a bowl first, just so it allows me to control um, how much I put on. And I'm just using my brush and what I'm just going to do is just literally brush the oil on to my planting so really easy that will just allow the planting to get really crispy um, when you cook it so just literally brushing it on on both sides so there we go guys they're all brushed with a little bit of oil now you don't have to use the oil if you don't want to but i like to because it just makes them that little bit more crispy than if you didn't use the oil okay um also can i just say stay watching to the very very end of this video because i will put the smart points value for each of the ww plans if you are following the ww eating plans okay. okay so i've just washed my hands um and now i am going to pop them in the air fryer so i've just got my air fryer 
pan here so I like to place them in individually um, you can just chuck them all in but I do like to space them all out so that they get evenly cooked and um, yeah and then you don't get like soggy bits so you can see I'm just placing them in all individually that way the air can get around each one and uh, really make them nice and crispy and uh, yeah really delicious at this point if you want to add any spices um, you know you might want to put some paprika on if you want a savory flavor or you might want to add a little bit of salt or even some sweet spices like cinnamon or nutmeg or brown sugar now would be the time to do that so there we go guys so they're all in and I'm going to pop them in the air fryer for about 10 minutes okay so okay so they're all in there pop them in I'm just gonna pop them in for 10 minutes or so and then we'll come back and it's at about 180 at temperature so we're going to leave those to cook and then we'll come back in 10 minutes and we'll take those out and we'll put the rest in okay guys so here is my finished planting that i have cooked in the air fryer um they're golden brown and they are just beautiful so they are good to eat as they are now or what you can do is just sprinkle a little bit of salt on them if you wish so i'm going to just do that get a little pinch of salt and just sprinkle on them um, and they are good to go if you want to turn this into a sweet treat you can also brush a little bit of honey um, or some cinnamon or some um, nutmeg over them sprinkle it on um, so, and drizzle on a bit of honey if you wish but I'm going to have it just with a sprinkle of salt just as it is on my bully beef so um, that's how you would do the planting and I'm going to now um, show you my finished dish but before I do that then please remember to hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified of more videos and also stay right to the end and I will share with you the smart points value for each of the WW plans okay guys so here we are here is my finished bully beef and planting dinner so as you can see it's full of color uh, it's full of nutrition with all those vegetables and of course you've got that sweet finish to with the um, with the planting so the idea of bully beef is to add whatever ingredients you have available so if you have um, garlic maybe even a little bit of ginger maybe some sweet corn you can add all of that into your bully beef and make it your signature dish it's nutritious it's filling it's tasty it's really good at any time of the day um in the caribbean it's had for breakfast it's had for lunch it's had for dinner whenever you want bully beef it is good and of course planting is an absolute staple within caribbean cooking so any time of the day or night it is good with this dish i would say make it fresh and eat it on the day and you're going to get the very best out of it at the very least um have it the next day but i wouldn't tend to i don't tend to freeze it simply because it then goes all really soggy and mashy and it's not really good then so to get the very best out of it cook and eat the same day 
or the least the next day. Um, if you're warming it up the next day, um, be careful that you don't dry out the planting um, because it can go really dry and really tough. So, um, yeah, those are my top tips, but it's really affordable. It's really economical um, and it's a really, really good tasty dish for you to enjoy. So, guys, thank you so much for being here with me on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do decide to make bully beef and planting, then let me know how you get on. But please hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload more videos in the future. Okay, guys, so I am off now to enjoy my bully beef and planting for lunch. So I will see you soon. Take care now. Thank you.